everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round three of the Celeste Galactic Qualifier. We have here Paul Nixie versus Daniel Leon, the First Order versus the Galactic Republic. Today, I'm joined by my good friend, James Ritter. Hey, guys. And shout out to our judge on staff today, Tommy Adams. For everybody at home, I want to let you know that this is our first of five qualifiers for the Galactic Championships. We have multiple time zones, so if you want to find out which one's going to fit your schedule, GoldSquadronPodcast.com. Three wins gets you into our Galactic Championship finale. Four wins gets you into day two for a qualifier. So let's go ahead and have everybody at home choose your champion and James, let's start breaking down this list. You take Paul, I'll take Daniel. Okay. Uh, on the left side, we have the first order uh, flying, uh, being flown by Paul Nixie. Uh, we have Kylo Ren in his classic tie silencer. He has a heightened perception sensor scramblers and proton torpedoes. Uh, I'm throwing four dice, no matter what range. Come at me. Also, I can do cloak things. Uh, along for the ride or a couple of TIE Fighters, starling, starting with Commander Malaris or Glitter Stem 2.0, uh, being able to spend a charge in the start of engagement to convert all focuses to evades or hits for that entire round. With those cluster missiles, uh, could be some pretty nasty stuff. Also, bring in Scorch along for the ride in the TIE FO Fighter with a shield upgrade, along with static, also with a shield upgrade. And uh, rounding out the list here, we have Gideon Hask in the Xi class shuttle, uh, giving his uh, friendly TIE fighters some extra attack dice if the defender is damaged, uh, bringing Proud Tradition Fanatical Pattern Analyzer Biohexacrypt Codes General Hux crew and tactical officer. So, uh, throwing out some crazy uh, coordinating stuff out there, along with being a uh, pretty. Um, it, it's a hard to track down mm -hmm. for, for being a shuttle. Yep. Uh, with that proud tradition and pattern analyzer. Then on the other side, Daniel Leon has brought. With the Republic, by the way, we got a uh, four-die shot here from Kylo Ren in the opening salvo. Spends for three, hit, hit, crit. And it looks like after spending that focus, Click is going to take a single shield. We'll see Locked if... Anakin. Anakin. Locked Anakin. Oh, Anakin, sorry. The, the, uh, I was looking at Click. So, takes a single shield there. Not bad. Not a bad result there for Anakin Skywalker. We got shots back. We'll break down Daniel's list here in a second. Two dice. Single hit. Kylo should be able to shrug this off. Four dice and a force and does. We yeah, know like that. I said, with, without those locks um, that the Republic wants... Uh, they aren't that dangerous. Hit crit. Safe. All right, let's keep breaking this down. So Daniel on his side has Anakin Skywalker in the Naboo Starfighter. We got Trick Shot, Fire Control System, R4P, and Proton Torpedoes, the four dice attack of legend. So Anakin out there trying to see if he could fire through obstacles once in a while. Make that a five dice proton torpedoes. We have Click in the V-Wing. Has that best title. Dedicated R3 astromech for double target lock. Synchronized console. Start passing that around. And seismic charges to have a little bit of trickery uh, and tech in the list. Then a new ship here to the game, Slider in the clone Z95 Headhunter. As a, a reminder for the ability here, while you reveal a two bank maneuver, you may spend two charges to execute it as, as a side slip instead of a two bank. So that's pretty awesome. 
doing its best impression of an HMP gunship. You got fire control, synchronized console for that synergy on the target locks, and concussion missile, a third attack dice weapon. Then we have Oddball in the V19 Torrent, elusive for some defensive tech. Proton Torpedoes, because he got access to those Proton Torpedoes, and Synchronized Council, working on that synergy. And to support those four ships, we have Hawk in the LAT. It says, at the start of the end phase, each friendly ship at range 0 to 1 that has revealed a maneuver of speed 3 to 5 may gain a strain to perform a barrel roll or a boost action. So it gives those clone ships, those Galactic Republic ships, some maneuverability options, some shenanigans, trying to get on flanks, trying to control area. Uh, it doesn't affect too much uh, in terms of scenario scoring, but uh, can end up mattering if you can get some ships out of arc or into unsuspecting, unexpected places. We got dedicated there. Um, and then diamond boron missiles for a three dice attack gun that has the damage potential to do some splash damage We have novice technician at the end of the round You may ro roll one attack die to repair one face-up damage card on a hit expose one damage card So trying to make that ship a little more survi survivable. Is it risky? Sure We have seven fleet gunner the real reason why you bring a lot to be like hey you guys are all getting extra dice. Extra dice all over the place uh, once per turn. And, of course, you do have to take that weapons disabled uh, to recharge that charge each turn. Synchronized Council as well for the Synergy and Agile Gunner to be able to rotate that turret arc at the end phase uh, allows that 7th Fleet Gunner to stay relevant as well as with its ship ability, Fire Convergence. Now, with all that, it looks like our our, uh, our audience who's watching is pretty split. We still have uh, two minutes left on the timer for, uh, for voting. So if you want to get your bets in, go ahead and do it now because right now it is tied 50% on each side. Let's really see uh, where you guys think the advantage is. James, looking at this matchup, who do you think has, uh, has the ups here? Oh, man. If these... If uh, Kylo can get one of these ships damaged, um, Gideon bumping up all these other TIE fighter attacks could be pretty big. Um, I'll be interested to see if he's able to manage it. Um, if so, I think that's going to push the advantage way into Paul's side. But if the Republic can leverage some of these kind of trickery uh, Republic shenanigans with the lat and with click and you know and again it's just, all, all these ships kind of do something really crazy um and weird so if they're a if he's able to leverage that and use it to his advantage he might pull out the lead here i mean he, he he has two proton torpedoes which is more than the other side and uh if i if i if i know anything about um you know x-wing 2.6 it's that uh proton torpedoes are good <laughs> What? They are? Yeah, they've always been good, but now they're even better. <laughs> All right. We have... It's still, it's still pretty close. Slight advantage for Paul right now as we enter into the second round. We're going to be able to start scoring here for those objectives. Remember, objective points only start scoring in the second round, which starts now. And slider, Lamp. I love this. Oh, here. look at getting on the flank with that slider ability. Very nice. Going to see if you can catch Malrus off guard. Yeah, Malarus is going to have to do a, I think even if Malarus does a two bank, I think that might still land. Uh, but I think I might have actually reached for that lock on Gideon there. Mm, I like it. So slaps down the focus. Click in the joust zone. It's what we do. Three straight. Yeah, reach for that, reach for that lock for click. Um, yeah, I think I go on 
Uh, ooh, okay, can unlock one of his friendlies. I think I like to do that the turn before. Once you're in the fight, I think usually I like to do... Uh, start locking enemies only. Mm hmm Okay, Anakin doing his signature ability, rolling's a neat trick, and doing a uh, bear roll, and then a three straight. Uh, probably going to reach for a lock on uh, Scorcher Static here. I think that, that barrel roll may be an attempt for a block, though I, I suspect Kylo's going to hit the gas and see if you can end up flanking the uh, the lat. That still is, that's a five-point ship. That's a, the most expensive cost for a single platform that, uh, that the Republic has. Okay, Hawk is going to go for a target lock onto Kylo. Maybe throwing that diamond boron at uh, at him. I think it's it's a lot. This is a lot of resources into Kylo, and if mm -hmm. Kylo just jets away. That's going to be a that's going to be detrimental for um, for Daniel going into this turn. Kylo can is a is is a great trap. You know, if you can get people to. As long, mind you, as long as you have an escape route for Kylo, it uh, it's a good trap. Being being able to really focus people down. Okay, here we see Gideon performing a stop maneuver, but he is going to coordinate with his pattern analyzer, and he's going to use General Hux to give all of the ships a focus. You get a focus. You get a focus. No, maybe not on Malaris. But probably, Malaris probably doesn't need it. With Malaris's ability. Oh, wow. Static with that three straight. Staying in the formation. Dropping the stress. Uh, I think you got to pick up a proton torpedo on one of these TIE fighters. You need uh, to start helping out Anakin here. And we're going to start seeing those dice fly. Ten minutes in. I want to see where, where Commander Malaris goes. Uh, one thing to note, though, with the position of the First Order, if, um, while it seems unlikely, if Malaris were to go down somehow, uh, that would mean that Daniel was the only, would, would be the only one at the center objective. Scoring him two points if that were to happen. Oh, man. I'm, I'm really not liking Daniel's target priority here I think Scorch is um, pretty pretty important to take off pretty right now um, but we'll see if it if it turns out Slapping down that target lock. I think hmm. Malris is in the teeth. And here's yeah, Kylo. See, this is Did end up going I with the five straight. Of. Because I think I think Hawk should have locked one of these TIE fighters once they moved up. Um, because that would be a, a pretty pretty great 
uh, attack here. It's going to set up a target lock. Remember, it has that proton torpedo. also has heightened perception to be firing at initiative 7 as need be. But doesn't have dead eye. Sets up that target lock. We should be moving into engagement now. Okay, here we see Malaris. Using his ability. <laughs> Big focus. All the focus. And needs to take a stress for that ability. There we go. All right, here we go. Oddball taking the first shot. Has range one into Malrus. Or can spend proton torpedoes and is four dice into Gideon Hass going at the shuttle. Only got one hit on the uh, initial. You can check for Hawk fire convergence. Looks like he's going to. It does. And only two hits off of that. So single modded proton torpedo there, netting you um, about what you would expect. Oh, going to use synchronized consoles. All right, synchronized so console. To Hawk. Okay, uh, does Gideon choose to spend the focus here or lose both of his shields? Mm -hmm. Would have been great if that attack had done a little bit more damage there. Yeah, I mean th that's what the, the you know the synchronized counter there is hoping to, to throw those big hits out there. And th by the way, that was Diamond Boron missile, if I'm not mistaken, on Hawk, right? No, that no, that, that, that was the proton from Oddball. Got it. And then pass synchronized. Next shot, three hits. Coming in from Malrus. Spinning the lock. Three hits. And Anakin's going to be taken two unless he spends the evade. It takes one. Then we'll use Shields oh, Mallorys as cluster. So now Mallorys can cluster off into click. It's going to do it into Hawk, a support platform. Yep, got a measure from Anakin. Has to be within range one. Is. Or two more. And Hawks is now shields down. Yeah, could have done a uh, dedicated from click, uh, but maybe he didn't want to. Uh, let me see. Diamond Boron into Gideon. Uh, just two hits the focus, on focus. I think. Oh, he has. A, he took a lock. Mm -hmm. Um, does he also have synchronized? Ooh, I think I'd keep it. Yeah. Wait a second. Thought. Oh, 
Oh, look at this card right here. Uh, he could have used uh, Fire Convergence on his shot. I think he wants to use it with sliders, maybe. I mean, he's got two charges. Ooh, hoo, hoo. you got to spend there. Yeah. Oh, he already spent one, I think. Mm hmm. Where are the charges? Where is he keeping them in, at? In front of him. In front of the ship. Oh, got it. He's using the, the GSP tokens. That's what he's doing. Got it. Here we go. Slider doing the work. It's just through a rock. Paul striking saying this could be a quick game. Uh, you know, jousts, it, it's, it's a toss up. It's a toss up. We could end up in the situation where, uh, you know, they end up running into each other, doing some damage, but not quite killing anybody. And then we spend a couple turns just getting, getting everybody turned around. Rolling here. Off of the... Ooh, using 7th Fleet Gunner. Nice. Hit, Bumping up. Crit, crit. And he's going to pass it to Anakin because Anakin's at range 1. And one crit's crits. gonna go through. So it's a stun pilot. See, my 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 issue though is that he spent so much resources going into Gideon, he only got he got three damage. Well, here comes a proton with a focus. All right. Well, let's see if he can make it matter. And fire convergence. But if he man, if he had just gotten a couple more damage. All right, yeah, let's see what happens. He could have taken a TIE fire with all that, with all that damage. Yep. There we go. Proton. Two Ooh. hits and a crit. Spend for gonna, three. I think you spend con fire convergence. Fire convergence? Yeah, because I don't want to spend that focus. Oh, risky business. Oh, Ooh. rewarded. One hit, hit three, three crits. crits. So you, you're guaranteed two critical damage. Three yep. critical damage? How about three? Crit, crit, crit. Uh, he's down to one. If there's no directs or fuel um, lead chains, fuel gotta watch leaks. out. Oof. First one, direct. direct he's it. gone. <laughs> he's gone. Gideon taken wow. out. Well, uh, I've been wrong before, um, <laughs> <laughs> but man, I just uh, yeah. Okay, I, I mean it worked. It it worked out. He got uh, he got some points. He got four. Let's see if it ends up mattering. He still potentially leaves a point on the table though because of uh, of you know if he had taken out Malris and Ali's pointing out the same thing. If Malris had gone down, this would have been a five point swing rather than a four point swing. Uh, Malris is only three. Oh, this, well, four, four point swing, four points gained. Excuse me, I'm using the wrong word. I think, I think taking out Gideon over Malaris, if you can guarantee it, that's better. I mean, that was, was that guaranteed though? That was, uh, that was. That. No, no, that's what I'm saying. He took a yeah. big risk. Yeah. <laughs> so, for, fortunately, it paid off. Yeah. Uh, so, Click is going to use uh, his ability to make this a three dice versus a four dice with Scorch's ability. Mm -hmm. um, as the lock on the blink. Three dice. Uh, ooh, it's a blink. Oh, that's not great. And it spends for okay. two. Hit crit. Scorch. Oh, you're, you're still going to push dedicated, through. Dedicated. Dedicated. Come on, buddy. Come on, remember it. Okay, <laughs> I was like, God, right, there it is. Got has a dedicated trigger, takes a strain to give Anakin the reroll on defense. You get a second shot. There it is, and spends a focus, no damage. <sighs> I had uh, 
but here's two crits coming in from Static. <laughs> yep, spends the he has, has, spends a lock, right? Spends a lock and focus from Static to just say. Um, I guess technically he could save it if it's uh, if he rolls two crits. <laughs> True. No, nah, I think you spend it. Just spend static. it for two crits. Tario lock. No, no, no. Static. Do the static thing. He's got, it. He's, go. got <laughs> it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He started so sad. <laughs> I was like, you have the focus. No. Double crits. Uh, and both of those are heroic? Okay, no. no the dedicated. Dedicated on click. There it is. And I think that's the only dedicated he has left. So he could he could dodge one of these. We'll Shields see. are down. So if, if he's getting at least one, nope, two crits we'll underneath. And if we get a direct here, this one's gone. Does it? Oh, oh, man. Direct hit. Another direct hit. Kill right there. Anakin Skywalker goes down. Yeah. And then Gideon gets to follow up. One more shot. I think you just go into the lat. Yeah, it's the easiest one to hit. And it's strained. Have two agility. He has to, he's going to have two agility with the range and obstruction. Ah. Uh. So it's going to be... That's still your best shot, because that's still two dice versus three on click. Okay. No mods for anybody here. Straight dice. Here we go. Two on two. Ooh, no Saddies. dice. Uh, Gideon goes down in a ball of fire. And one point a piece. Remember, with the new scenario, there's two points up for grabs every round. Mm -hmm. If you're the only uh, player with ships at range zero to two of the objective, you get two. If you both have ships at range zero to two of the objective, you each get one. Now, with with Paul being able to take down Anakin Skywalker this turn, we end up with a score of six to five, and the first order is just barely ahead. And uh, that Anakin Skywalker not being able to get off both proton torpedoes, that investment you made in that ship, uh, it's going to be, a, I think, a little bit rough for the Republic. Yeah, whenever I'm playing Anakin in the Naboo, if I don't get both proton torpedoes off, um, it's it's probably means I'm probably losing. Um, but in this case, he still has quite a few different options with um, Hawk, or sorry, Slider coming in with that concussion, with Oddball coming in with that last proton torpedo in his tubes, and Hawk has that Diamond Boron still. So still has some options left here. For everybody at home, want to remind you that this round and all of our rounds today have been brought to you by Co-op Print Yards. Use code GSP for 15% off. And that's good on Tuesdays, by the way. Good on Tuesdays? What about Thursdays? Mm, for you, James, sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> I need to get some more swag, to be honest. Um, True. Need more swag. I keep running out of charges with all these new upgrades that I have to keep taking. Um, <laughs> yeah, because I think my list right now has... And I have a lot of ships that have charges as well. Yep. So, uh, yeah. So, it's like not even just the... Like I, have a lot, I, have a lot of, I have a lot of R4. Um, R4P charges. Torpedoes. Rockets. <laughs> Too, too many too charges. Too many charges. I'm having to use like force tokens for my charges because I just keep <laughs> running out. He's just over here. It's like I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. You know what? This this shield is now also a charge. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know what anything is? I I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, especially I I use the amazing infinite arena. Mm hmm. 
Yep. Quick builds. So yep. Same here. That help. That helps a little bit. Um, when there's not so many different cards, you just have like your four or five pieces of paper. Um, mm. Yeah, slider. Getting into that nice, nice flank there. Uh, gonna just be able to follow up just one straight lock, one straight lock, uh, and follow up uh, with the rest of his friends. Does look like Click has a pretty nice 4K lined up if he wants it. Uh, a quick note to some people, some folks in the audience: the we are having to. Uh, proxy essentially the Z95 in the overlay uh, because it is not set up quite yet. So we're using an Arc 170 chassis, um, and in order to kind of get the whole the health close, uh, we're doing that. So we will uh, we'll adjust that extra hole as uh, as needed once things start going down. Once half points hits, it'll look more normal. Yeah. In other words, don't worry about it. <laughs> insert youtube comment here angry about overlay dread it would have been the same number of points he got it whether he killed um gideon or killed uh that tie fighter no no it wouldn't have yes it would have if he would have killed uh malrus Yes, Malaris is three. Yeah, Malaris is three, but then he would have got plus two from the. He already, he already gets plus one. Yeah, but I get another one. Yeah, but that's that, that's just four. Ah, uh, you're right. <laughs> like, if, yeah, but I then, crazy? I, then I then I then I could have gotten I could have gotten two the next turn because uh, Malaris is dead. Yeah, Malaris is gonna be there though. <laughs> True. Um. Okay. Uh. Looks like Slider chose to kind of turn a little bit in. He's going to go for the lock on Scorch. All right, and goes towards the bottom of the board here. Setting up that fire convergence. Did he take the weapons disabled to recharge? He, he, did, he did, did not. not. He no. did not. I wonder if that was intentional. We'll find out. Yeah, because it looks like he will not have a shot this round. Maybe he should have. Well, he might have a good shot at out the rear at Malaris. Mm -hmm. Or Scorch. <laughs> uh, reminder, there is a uh, hidden Kylo Ren right behind our sub goal. Oh, well. Yeah, bar. you can just see his force tokens. <laughs> I will, I'll go Ooh. ahead and get that adjusted. Static almost bumped into uh, click, but able to uh, avoid it. Oh, man. That one bank from Oddball slotting in just between the two TIE Fighters. Uh, no options for his barrel roll, uh, but could... What's other options here? May, may just go for the focus. Or the evade. Evade might be good too. All right, and you see um, Malris turning. I think in order to keep that range uh, at that center objective. Yeah, may evade here. Go for the target lock. Wow, that's aggressive. And uh, just a note, uh, Hawk has both of the Fire Convergence charges back up for this round. Okay, there you go. Rerolls are ready. He's going to be able to shoot. No weapons disabled. How aggressive is Kylo going to be? Or has he done his job baiting? Will that be enough? Maybe he kind of hangs Alice. out, waits for cleanup. Mal is trying to decide who he wants to lock. She? I think it's she. Uh, Malrus talking about? 
Yeah. Yeah, Malaris is a she. Yeah, she. Yeah. All right. Looks like we got a T roll. Yeah. Line T up that great <laughs> uh, proton torpedo. And that is also out of arc of Hawk. So no fire convergence or any shots onto Kylo, which I don't think there are any. And of course, Hawk won't be able to shoot him. Oh, wow. The size. I didn't even see the seismic drop. No. Oh. Kylo, Scorch, Malaris, and Hawk. Wow. Okay. You know what? You sacrifice. That's fine. That's a good trade. That's yeah, a good trade. Good. I did completely forget about that on the V-Wing as well. Yeah. Yeah, they always do. They always do. <laughs> but uh, going down to seven hole remaining on Hawk. And Kylo is up. Has that proton torpedo. Will you fire it at a Hawk? Let's see if we get the four dice pulled. Yep. We saw the charge flip. Here it comes. Can I just say, no one bumped. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful synchronized all... <laughs> dance. One hit, three Ooh. blanks. Looking to convert here. You need hits. Only has two force. And That's that'll a, do it. Uh, that'll do it. <laughs> One hit, three crits. Looking at Hawk. Remember, it's Hawk like has lost his shields. He'll have plenty of chances to fire convergence or to a novice technician. <laughs> this is true. Uh, that is going to be half either way if he spends focus or not. Uh, I think you do spend it. Um, yep. See if you can last so, just a little bit longer. So, you need that support so platform. Just three crits. Direct, uh, direct hit. hit. Fuel, Fuel leak. leak. Direct, direct hit. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. He is at one hole. Jeez. Well, <laughs> all right. Direct. Boom. Fuel leak. Triggers after the crit. So this. Wow, there it is. And disable power regulator. I don't know if it's yeah, going to... No, it's, it's face down. It's face down. Um, he took three face-ups. Direct, fuel leak, direct. Got it. Wow. Wouldn't you like to turn three damage into six? <laughs> Sounds like a good strategy. <laughs> All right, and the fight continues here. One hit from Oddball. There's fire convergence. Use For it while you got it. Oh, okay. Double blanks to blanks. Uh, hey, man, you're getting that one. Been, that would have been nice to get uh, a little bit more there into Scorch. So Scorch is now at half points. I don't think so. No, that is a lie. These that is incorrect because the shield, shield upgrade. upgrade. Well, not, it was hull upgrade before. Now it's shield upgrade, folks. No, that's fine. That's fine. No, no, that, that's, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Ooh, he's choosing not to use his concussion missile. <laughs> oh probably, no, probably probably wise. To yep. be honest. <laughs> One hit and a focus. This is looking at scorch right now. Spending the lock. And the reason for not firing that concussion missile, it has that secondary effect. Don't forget about that. The secondary effect, uh, each ship at range 0 to 1 of the defender exposes a damage card if it hits. Two hits with the primary. Natty's out. I think the last shot we have here is going to be click. Oh, Hawk hasn't shot yet. Out the back arc. Continuing. Just one. Safe. And the Republic's dice. Not bailing them out here. 
Looks like Click is going to be going again. Scorch is, uh, is going to come out not too bad, just losing shields. Another one hit. You have one more fire convergence control? Yeah, you're out. But you do have the lock, which I think you spend. Yeah. Yeah, I think you burn the lock to get, try to get two. Or he's just going to bish. Bish, okay. There you go. Going for the average. You got you one. Another. That's half points. Is it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, whole, a whole one point. Yeah. One is better than none. That's how it's that's true. how math works. Yeah, that is true. Uh, you know how math doesn't work though. Uh, three equals six. True. In the case of uh, taking six damage off of three hits, <laughs> it's called multiplication. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three times two. All righty. And looks like Scorch is gonna go ahead and get pumped up. To fire range one at oddball. Here it is. Has a focus for modifying. And we'll be able to get two hits and a crit. Hit crit goes through. Oh, breach. Everything's face up. Has three hole left. Nest attack coming in here from static. Hit crit. Spends still a critical damage going through, though. What a bit of crit anyway. And we got loose stabilizer. That is not great. Mm -mm. You don't really want to go. You really don't want to go straight. I think that. That is going to be half on oddball. So a score of 10 to 6 after that volley. We're going into round four. And uh, it's pretty intense. There we go. Ah, yes. And then we got an objective score, 11 to 7. So if you were Daniel right now, what, what uh, are, are you got rid of that? Asteroid in the corner. Does that give you an opportunity to go after Kylo? Is that uh, is that where the money is? Or are we not at desperation yet? Man, uh, th this is we're at a pretty desperate spot here. Um, man, I think I think uh, Hawk needs the agile gunner here. Stay in this fight. Brent Nasty Chris. says, hi, Dion. Thank you for the sub, Chris. Could three bank um, to with, with Hawk to just keep the back arc on. Uh, but man, Slider does have his slide this round. Mm hmm. Every other turn, uh, yes. Um, could actually block Malaris's turnaround maneuver, depending on what he goes for. Remember, they have 4K and 2 sloop. If he does go for the 2 sloop to his left, or her left, uh, could block it. Mm -hmm. Maybe as well the 4K. That'd be pretty nice. Uh, as for click and oddball, I think oddball you gotta you gotta do um, that 3k uh, just to stay relevant here. Take the damage. Now, CG. in the wider X-wing world, one of the things that got announced this week was the fact that the world championships are gonna be. In the town of gold at Adepticon. Super pumped about that. James, James, we did that. Like. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, 
weird weird timing um, for them to be like, well, let's let's do it. Let's do a Depticon this year, <laughs> right after we had an amazing event uh, on Adepticon 2022. A resounding success. Mm-hmm. So yeah, part party at Dion's house. <laughs> Yeah, all, all joking aside, I am very, very excited, and uh, it dips on Dion's couch. No take backs. <laughs> if it wasn't happening in, like, March or April, I would have, like, a barbecue or something. One thing to remember, though, Schaumburg, Sh like, it's in Chicago land. It's not actually in Chicago, Chicago. I live in the city, so it would be a little bit of a drive. Like, I'm, I, I would actually most likely be staying on the premises, not driving home. D Mrs. GSP approves very much. She did immediately ask, are you going to be paid this time? <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I told her, I do not know. <laughs> All you right. know what? A mm. definite maybe. A definite maybe, yeah. Uh, my staff will get paid. I know that. Shout out to our patrons. Gold Squadron patrons are the ones that make that happen. Yeah. Big thank you. That was a, an amazing time. And uh, your guys' help uh, made it. So it was an amazing time. Oh yeah, Isofane, we're gonna make it happen. I thought uh, you left Isofane. Is he back? He's back. He's back. He's just he's, he's creeping. He's creeping. Just small creeps. Alright, double crits. Hit it crit. That means well. once again, this has been this is the fourth round in a <laughs> row. <laughs> First player has uh, gone. I mean, at this point, you know this what? is a, this is a skill. <laughs> Just making that first player token super big. That's his. <laughs> Bunks to him. That's right. He will seventh fleet here. Yeah, he's, he's got to go for the big firepower. Get get a, a boosted attack off ASAP. Yeah, it does get uh, the use of three bank. I think I think he should have uh, turned the arc though. Mm. Kind of in the area where Kylo likely is going to be in, end up fighting. Yeah. Oh, we're getting some slip and slide. There it is. It does. Uh, it doesn't look like it blocks the four K, which could be pretty uh, dangerous for Slider. Probably just slaps down that focus. Okay, click tried to fly straight. Ends up overlapping. Only enemy, so can do the focus, which he will. Did not drop that other seismic to note. In our next break, what we'll do here, or our next planning phase, break down where is Dion going to be traveling over the next few uh, few months. I do have some travel plans. Want to remind you, we'll be in Florida, be in California, Indianapolis, and of course, we got our galaxies going on at the same time. So Scorch gets out of the scrum, focus down. We're going to have a little bit of face off between. Uh, si slider and scorch.
is this is this the all right so yeah the static static tried to do a turn but is overlapping friendly ships mm-hmm Yep. Rolls for damage and no focus there for the FO. Yeah, I think he just caught the tail end of Malaris. Mm hmm. Does take one the hit damage. and takes a damage there. That's first blood on static. Well, that could be the ship that the team goes goes for this round. <laughs> takes <And, laughs> oddball does the turn anyway uh takes the damage for loose stabilizer draws a card for the damage uh face up because of whole breach and it's another loose stabilizer that's right i'm my, i'm so loose Locks, Hawk. Okay, okay. Um, you know what? We may see a uh, use of uh, heightened perception here because uh, it would be great to not take a shot here from. Not take a shot from Oddball. And Kylo setting up the lock. She wants to finish him, mind you. Oh, he's going to use heightened perception? Yeah. I think. We'll see. I mean, why not? That's the only way you can get initiative kill here. Okay. He's not going to use it. Oh. All right. Well, you're giving Oddball a chance to do some damage. Uh, Not only are you giving Oddball a chance to do damage, but you're also giving... Uh, him the chance to synchronize all the all the ridiculousness. Yep. And uh, Kylo is in with a uh, seventh fleet gunnered. There it is. Wow. The world for a focus here. Mm hmm. One hit, three focus. Let's see if we can convert on the three eyeballs. Wow. All right, there you go. Hit it, crit. Not bad. And we'll be passing with synchronized console. That's why we only saw two rerolls, because that was with um, fire convergence, not the target lock. The rerolls there. Yeah. Ooh, got to spend both force here to not take a sh uh, that crit on the mm -hmm. on, so just, on the hull. Just one. Hey, let's say click here, maybe, if he remembers. There we go. Click. Only three dice. Spending that with his ability. Uh, it's click spending his ability to reduce the number of dice being thrown at a friendly ship. Okay. If he Just can convert two. this, he'll confirm the destruction on Oddball. No. Nope. He does not confirm it. So there's a chance. Looking for natties. Not today. Oh, so close. I feel I feel like Oddball deserves like a hand clap. Like well played, Oddball. Yeah, he did. He did do well. <laughs> okay, uh, gonna see a shot here from Mallers. Might put down Hawk. And a reminder that the four dice attack uh, that came through onto Kylo earlier was a fire convergence, not excuse me, a uh, seven fleet gunnered range one attack from Oddball into Kylo. The arc being shown on the arc, on the hawk on hawk was for just showing that it was an arc to qualify for those abilities. Here we go, Malris firing trail mix. Only needs two to confirm the destruction of Hawk. Ooh, not confirmed. Just a pretty one. good chance of not dying. 
There we go. Ooh. You got a chance. Spins the focus. It lives. Oh, wow. That's a big, big win for the Republic right there. This is fine. This is fine. Yeah, I think you... Going to range three into Kylo. Has a focus. We'll spend the focus, most likely. Okay, it doesn't spend the focus. Go. And safe. Just had one, needed one. And here we go, Slider. Slider's been doing some some uh, some work here. Lots of movement, controlling the center of the board to make sure that Daniel's getting those points consistently. Let's see if he can contribute on offense. Range one, three dice. No, oh, he's going. This is the. Um, oh, this is a concussion missile. A concussion, yeah. I mean, if that hits, you're you're fine, I guess. With Hawk dying, if it's good enough. That's going to be hit crit going into Kylo. That's half points. And that's a wounded pilot. Going to have to roll okay, before two, doing actions. There's two directs in there. Two directs in where? In, in that hawk dick. Let's find out. Direct it's hit. Direct. Oh, Got it. That's so sad. That is the concussion missile triggering there, forcing a ship, all ships at range zero to one to um, to expose a card, exposing the direct hit. Does cause an additional damage to be dealt to Hawk, clearing that ship off the board. It was a risk, a calculator risk, but yeah. 16 to 10 is the result. Hey, actually... I mean, he, he scored three for three. He, scored, he lost three on Hawk and scored three on Kylo. But, wow, losing losing Hawk for free, basically. Mm-hmm. And here's Scorch. Trying to see if you can make Slider pay for his insolence. For his disrespect of the First Order. That's yes. looking solid. The answer is yes. <laughs> Four hits. And uh, no evades home. That ship is dead. Uh, yep. Yep. And that's the game. Yep. 19 to 10 right there. One additional point will be scored at the end of the round due to the objectives. Uh, then that will close it for for this game once they finish running through their end phase and um, and combat phase triggers all right congratulations to paul nixie getting the w here thank you to iso danko baffle trojan prophet shadow tycho spice raider lancer fallen Row 6, 626, Chief and J-List, our Grand Admiral Patrons. And all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members, thank you for your support. Gold Squadron, out.